Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we're going to take a look at the uh, Chase Chic Messenger Bag for Men. Um, it also has Canvas Vintage Briefcase Satchel 14-inch Laptop in the description name, but I would like to thank Chase Chic for sending this out to me, specifically Amy and Amber. Um, thank you two for, for getting this out to me. Uh, this is going to be not quite as comprehensive of a review as I would like to do on a bag. Normally, I try to carry these for a few months uh, beforehand, um, but they wanted the review out quicker, so yeah. Um, so this is going to be as good as I could do in about a, a month, month and a half. Um, so real quick, size comparisons. Um, I've had to move my recording setup up a lot, and I have to record on my phone. Um, I don't have a tripod tall and practical enough to hold my camera while looking at this. Um so first up, let's compare it to another bag. So before reviewing this, this was the bag that I carried all the time. This is the Nutsack Satchel. Uh, it's much, much smaller. Uh, this holds like an 11-inch laptop, if that's any frame of reference. This holds a 14. Um, I will say I kind of I kind of miss this size. It's, it's more practical for me. It's easier to manage, easier to you know, put places and things like that. But for a lot of people, this is too small or they don't like it being this small or they have a normal size computer. Um, so something like this may be much more practical for them. A few more size comparisons here. Um, let's see. Kershaw, Copper Natrix, Spyderco Little Native, Gaveco Little uh, Lilliput. Um, what else? And a Noodler's safety pin, just so you can see how enormous this is. I do have a few things um, in the bag as well, of course. Um, so hopefully those will be able to help you distinguish a little bit how large this is. But it's a fairly sizable bag. So let's go ahead and move on to what I like about it. Um, so first up, the, just the, the design overall. It's, it's fairly aesthetically pleasing. It's a little classy. I'm a little uptown. But... It's not too bad. I like the canvas material that they use here. Um, it isn't waxed or anything like that, but it is canvas. It's it's not like a knockoff or anything. Um, it, it looks very business professionally, and you can get this in a couple of colors. They do have it in black, and they have it in khaki as well. Khaki is a bit more like Indiana Jones uh, to me, so I, I went with this one just because of an office environment. So it's, it's a little bit easier, um, and it fits in a little bit better for me personally. However, um, they do have that other option if that's, you know, something that you want. Um, another thing is the bag is very, very big. Um, so I, I really like my nutsack bag satchel, um, but sometimes it's a bit of a pain to fit everything in there. Um, often if I'm going out, I'm going to carry my laptop and my switch and my camera and all that stuff. And I have to make concessions on what to take with me when I bring that bag sometimes. Not a huge deal, but sometimes I can't fit quite everything in there. So for some people, that's going to be a deal breaker. For this, um, there's plenty of space. Just to show you real quick, um, if I can get this all somewhat in frame. I apologize if the framing is, is a little off. Um, I can't actually see what I'm recording. So first up, I have my switch in here in the front pocket. It's plenty spacious. Um, I could probably fit, you know, uh, another couple Joy-Cons right here, you know, charger over here. I don't actually have anything in this bag just because there's a loop in here, which is, I guess, for your keys. Super practical for a lot of people, but for me, it would just scratch up my stuff, so I don't have anything there. And then in here is where everything else is. So I have a couple of pins, uh, the Big Eye Design TIE Ultra pocket pen, and then a tactile turn glider. I have a book, then I have a couple of notebooks here as well, uh, just to have something to write on, something to read. And then the back here I do have my super small, sorry about that Velcro noise. Um, I have my Surface Go back here, which um, if you have a Surface Go or if you've ever seen one, it's kind of engulfed by this bag. I'm actually just going to set that on the side. 
instead of putting it back in. But yeah, you can fit a, a pretty decent amount in here. And again, I'm not utilizing all this space. I don't I don't actually use enough stuff every day to to just shove down in there and I don't want to just add extra weight uh, extra weight for the sake of filling Kabbalah of pockets. So you do still have this pocket free. There's much, much more um, laptop area back here and it is padded, which is nice. That way if you toss your bag down it's not gonna, you know, destroy your laptop. If say if you have a you know standard hard drive in there, something like that, moving parts, you don't want any of those damaged. You do have a zipper pouch right here, which I also have no real use for, um, just because I, I have these pockets up here. And you have these two right here, which normally I would keep a notebook in, but they're actually a little bit too narrow for my pocket notebooks, um, just by a bit. So that's a, that's a little bothersome, but they are there. And there's also a zipper pouch on the back. So... I like the space of it. I like the design of it. Um, closing it is fairly easy. It's it's magnetic. Um, it's not the most secure thing in the world for sure, but it's somewhat fast. Um, it also comes with a shoulder carry strap, which I don't have here, but it is fairly wide. It's fairly comfortable, and there are attachment points on the sides here for that. Uh, the handle is also pretty comfortable. It's it's the one area on this this is that actually feels like decent. A decent amount of leather um there's a lot of leather on here but it's really really thin in most spots this this feels pretty sturdy um it is a little rough on your hands after carrying it for a little while um but i don't really carry my bags for more than a couple of minutes and it's really just to pick it up and move it or something like that um so if you use your you know the handle on your bag all the time i probably would go with a different a different bag uh this may cause blisters um at least for me um so that's just something you, you kind of want to keep in mind. Let's go ahead and uh, go on to the neutral. So on the neutral side, uh, the price. So it's a fairly big bag. It's it's th this could have I don't lo I don't like the price. I didn't want to put it in there, <laughs> but it it could have fit there. It really depends on your on your take on things. It's just uh, thirty dollars for this one. It's thirty three eighty one for the khaki color. So. It's not that big of a uh, price discrepancy, about 10%. But for for the for the size of the bag, you know, all the pockets, the canvas, I get it. But you can tell where they cut corners on this, and we'll get to that in a little bit. But overall, the price isn't, it's not bad at all. Um, if you're looking for, you know, a, a bag in this price range, this is probably one of the better ones you're going to find. Um, until you step up to about 50 bucks or so, you're going to have a bit of an, uh, a bit of a problem with, as far as like build quality, which this one has a little bit of as well. Um, but yeah, so $30 is reasonable. Um, I think it'd be much more compelling around 20, this is 20 bucks. That'd be, you know, a, a much better price range, which $10 doesn't sound like much, but when you're talking about essentially, you know, 30, 33% of, of the cost, it kind of, kind of does affect it at that point. So the price is a little bit higher on this than I would like, but it's not ridiculous. They're not ripping you off or anything like that as far as I can tell. Next up, I appreciate the fact that they did, they actually put um, four of these here. And what that's for is for these internal ones, as well as these on the strap. So you can click that there, that there, and then that and that. And it gives you a much, much more secure you know, I'll lock up, <laughs> I guess, um, for your bag. It does make it a, a bit slower to actually close up. So maybe, you know, if, if you're at work all day going in and out of your bag, I'd probably just attach these two at the bottom. But if you're getting up, leaving for the day, go ahead and snap down all four just in case. Um, they're not hard at all to lift up. Um, these are a little bit more annoying because as you lift this, it actually kind of spreads out, which is odd um what all that means really is instead of using one large piece of canvas for this they sewed together uh two of them um which isn't yeah it's not a bad thing but it's it's kind of annoying um but yeah having those there is 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 a nice little feature makes it a bit more secure and the bag of course does it does zip up as well um actually next up is going to be the zipper and this is going to be the last thing in the neutral section but um so the zipper, it feels fairly durable um, as far as just, 
you know tugging on it and stuff like that um it's it's a fairly wide fairly robust zipper but actually closing it is terrible um it's you're generally going to get a lot of snagging as you go especially if you just have the bag kind of sitting down or if you accidentally go over too far onto this tail which is another thing i'm not a huge fan of um over here if you if you go onto that tail getting it actually closed back all the way is a bit of a pain and it will snag at every opportunity um so not really a big fan of the actual closing of the zipper um which really belongs in the uh the dislike section to be honest but the zipper itself seems sturdy enough so i figured i'd go ahead and put it here speaking of dislike let's go ahead and uh move on over there all right on to the dislike section um so first up the construction of this bag is not great so the canvas parts feel fairly durable um, i don't feel like anything's going to tear um, you know, most of the seams are hidden and things like that. It's not, you know, it's not bad at all. Um, the bottom is is backed by, I'm not sure, probably like a, a thin plastic or a cardboard. It does feel a little bit more durable than, say, you know, this area here. Um, so the bottom's not going to fall out on you or anything like that, which is probably where it's going to take the most of use. So that, that's, that's something. But to be honest, they use this really, really thin leather everywhere all over this bag and uh, not only is it thin but it's it's not very good leather which I you know is kind of expected at this price um, but in some places like I feel like if I pulled up too hard on this I would rip this little this little thing off um, they're just they're they're very 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 paper thin and you're not gonna tear them per se um, but the stitching could come out just because of how you know thin they are and uh, the stitching is a little rough in places. You can definitely tell it's machine stitched. Um, there's, you know, just about in every piece of leather, there's little tiny, uh, you know, issues with the with the stitching. So basically, the fit and finish on this bag isn't great. And we're gonna I'm gonna talk about that in some more detail here. Um, so on these here, you can tell that wasn't cut evenly. Um, these aren't actually even centered. They're a little up and to the left. This one's a lot up. Um, this still has like some sort of debris in there and it's kind of glued into it which is weird um they're just you, you kind of get what you pay for <laughs> on this one um the lining of the pockets is fairly soft but i feel like if they could have gone with a, a better softer material i would have actually preferred if they just done canvas on the inside as well probably to raise the cost a bit but this just isn't great uh, as far as durability because this really really thin kind of nylon backing tears really really easy it's kind of like um, what you find like a cheap book bag if you've ever you know had to deal with one of those um it's that same thing that's it's all in here um so it's it's not super great i'm not a really really big fan of that at all so overall the stitching the leather which again this is what you're going to be lifting your bag with and they have it riveted down um, a little bit extra here, which is probably necessary, to be honest. This doesn't feel like it's going to pull off too bad. Um, but over time, I wouldn't count on the durability of this bag at all. Um, this is probably something I would get used for a year. Um, hope it lasted that year and then move on. Um, it's not something that you're going to you know, pay a lot for one time and then you're set for a decade. It's, it probably won't last you that long. It might. The canvas part's you know, I, I feel very, very confident that they would last that long. Um, but the rest of this just probably won't. In fact, that's probably going to rip very, very soon. Just this really thin little loop. I'm um, just from pulling it on and off. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the conclusion. So in conclusion, um, if you're wanting what is essentially a, a semi-disposable bag, um, for work, or you want to look a little more classy in school, or you just like this 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 uh, aesthetic. This isn't a terrible choice for you, but again, you're you're really really getting what you pay for here. You're not gonna get durability. You're not gonna get you know decent quality leather if this is even real leather. I'm not sure. Um, they don't really <laughs> discuss that, but um, 
you're 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 getting what you pay for here. You're paying for a thirty dollar bag. Well, not bag in quotes. A thirty dollar uh, kind of like uh, vintage looking inspired bag. So, uh, yeah, I just I just checked while I was doing that, which is kind of why I might have sounded a bit distracted. Uh, so yeah, this is PU leather. It's not actual leather. Um, so long term durability again, not gonna not gonna be very very good for this. So keep that in mind. But if 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 you like the way this looks, you don't you have thirty bucks, and you don't need this to work for you know forever then it's it's not a terrible one. If you're looking for something that you want to buy one time, put some money into, invest in it, and just, you know, kind of get the purchasing thing over with and then not have to worry about a bag for the next 10, 20 years, get something a little bit nicer. Um, I'd recommend going a little over $100. That's going to get you something that's going to last you uh, a decade, maybe more, at least for, you know, this bag here I've had for... Uh, year and a half two years something like that it's been a while and it's showing some wear but it's not you know i've had no compromises as far as the uh the build quality on it i don't have i haven't had any issues with any parts of any of this bag um and i i would have liked to carry this one a, a little bit longer probably three to four months just to check that durability but again, they wanted the review, uh, in in my opinion, rushed out a little bit. So this is what you get. So take everything I've said here with a bit of a grain of salt. I did not have the time required to uh, review this bag the way I would like. But it is what it is. Um, so that, that probably won't be happening again, to be honest. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions about this bag, um, you know, let me know and if there's anything else I can I can help you with let me know that as well um, the company requested that I leave a link down to the bag in the description so that's gonna be there I guess I don't really care um, whether you choose to purchase it or not it's completely up to you personally I would check around look at some more options maybe save up a little bit more money before getting a bag um, especially with it being it, if you're looking at this for like school I would just wait you know, until school starts back up towards the middle, end of summer. Just save up your money until then, get a nicer bag. Um, but if you need one right now and you have exactly $30, it's not horrible. Um, I just don't see it lasting for, for too long of a time. All right. If you have any questions, like I said, just let me know down in the comments. And uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Bye.